Hello again and welcome back. I'm Luigi Groton, Vice President of Nutrition Education. Lesson 3 of Nutrition for a Healthy Active Life is all about sports nutrition, which is the nutrition you use before, during, and after sports activities. It's divided into before exercise, during exercise, and after exercise, and it's quite different than the nutrition required by the average person. That's because athletes need nutrition that keeps them performing at their best. Before exercise, athletes need to hydrate, get energy from carbohydrates, and balance their electrolytes. During exercise, they should continue to hydrate with an electrolyte drink, drink optimal carbs, stay comfortable, stop and stretch as needed, and in certain cases, eat very lightly. About those carbs they need while exercising? They need enough to maintain muscle energy stores and should obtain the carbs through fluids at set intervals. And after exercise, athletes need to replenish energy stores, fluids, carbs, and protein. Now let's see the specifics of sports nutrition. Welcome to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. In this lesson, we will learn about sports nutrition, which is all about the special nutritional needs of athletes. Let's get started. Sports nutrition is the nutrition you use before, during, and after sports activities. It is different than your usual everyday nutrition because it's designed to provide you the extra nutrients you need for sports activities. Sports nutrition is divided into three phases, before exercise, during exercise, and after exercise. As you'll see, each phase of sports nutrition has different requirements to meet the body's demands during each unique phase. Sports nutrition is the study and practice of nutrition and diet as they relate to athletic performance. It is concerned with the type and quantity of food and fluid taken by an athlete. It deals with nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, supplements, and organic substances such as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats as they relate to the needs of an athlete. The timing of meals is important for good exercise performance. Your body's preferred source of fuel is carbohydrates and you have some carbohydrates stored in your liver and your muscles that can be used during exercise to keep you going. But if you usually exercise first thing in the morning, your body might be a little bit low on carbohydrates since you haven't eaten since the night before. Ideally, you would have had some healthy carbs at dinner time, but it's a good idea to top off your gas tank in the morning with a small meal. If you are going to exercise soon after eating, your meal will need to be lighter. Did you know that soccer players lose an average of two liters of sweat during a 90-minute game? Sweat loss by professional soccer players ranges from 1.06 to 2.65 liters during a 90-minute session in cool air. Most any sport consisting of intense physical activity will cause the body to lose sweat and lose hydration. For example, cyclists can lose up to two liters of sweat and 1,000 milligrams of sodium per hour. To make up for this loss for the rest of the day, you should drink fluids equal to 150% of the sweat lost. Before exercise sports nutrition is all about preparing the body for the physical endurance it's about to undergo. It's a bit like packing to go camping, ensuring you have all the supplies you'll need during your trip. In the before exercise phase, those supplies are hydration, drinking fluids, carbohydrates for energy, and minerals called electrolytes, which help keep your body and your heart functioning at a healthy level. If you're going to exercise in the morning and won't have much time to digest your meal before you start working out, then a light or liquid meal is best. A protein shake or some cottage cheese with fruit would work great. If you work out mid-morning or mid-afternoon, then a regular breakfast or lunch is fine. You'll have plenty of time to digest your meal before you start your workout. If you usually work out after dinner, then your dinner meal should be light so you have time to digest it. Again, a protein shake or a bowl of soup would be good choices for a light dinner. 
During exercise, your body is using a lot of fluids. Here are some tips so you don't overdo it during strenuous activity. Drink water with electrolytes to stay hydrated. Choose the best carbohydrates for optimal energy. Eat lightly so that gastric distress does not occur. Exercise comfortably, staying within your physical limits. Stop and stretch as needed to minimize muscle damage. Did you know that about 83% of your blood is water? Having so much water in your blood helps digest our food, transport bodily waste, and control body temperature. Every day, humans must replace 2.4 liters of water. We can do this through drinking fluids, but the body also takes water from the foods we eat. When you're working out and sweating, your body is losing fluids and important body salts. That's why it's so important to stay hydrated and to replace these important salts. When the weather is hot and humid, you are losing even more fluids than when the air is dry. When the level of fluids in your body drops, it strains the body and your ability to exercise will be affected. Signs that you are dehydrated could be that you are urinating less often or that your urine is very dark. Exercise will also become increasingly difficult and you may even experience muscle cramps. This is why no matter what the temperature or humidity is, staying hydrated is one of the most important things an athlete can do. Muscles and the liver store very few calories as energy, and athletes need a lot of energy to keep going. Let's consider this. One hour of intense cycling can burn 900 calories. Bike races can last for four hours or more, and that's over 3,500 calories. Running a marathon can burn more than 3,000 calories. One hour of swimming can use up to 600 calories. Many competitive swimmers swim four or more hours a day. That's about 2,500 calories. A professional soccer player competing in a 90-minute match can burn up to 2,500 calories. So during exercise, be sure to use sports drinks to provide both fluid and carbohydrates. Did you know that your muscles and liver store only about 1,200 calories of carbohydrates? For athletes, that's very little energy reserves. Their bodies are doing more strenuous work than a person doing everyday activities. That's why athletes use much more calories, hence the need to keep energy up during exercise. After exercise, it's important to replenish all the stores that were depleted during activity. In the first 30 minutes after you stop exercising, you need to replenish the stores of energy that your muscles have used up. This means replenishing the carbohydrate and protein stores by consuming a protein-enriched shake. And, along with replenishing your energy stores, it's vital to keep your body hydrated. You've likely lost a lot of fluids in sweat, so you'll need plenty of water and electrolytes too. Aside from training, nutrition is the most important influence on sports performance. To reach one's highest potential, all of the body's systems must be working optimally. The best way to achieve this is to eat a variety of nutritious foods. To have enough energy for exercise and for life, an adequate number of calories must be consumed. The amount of calories needed depends on many different factors, such as age, sex, height, weight, muscle mass, and fat mass. Too few calories can negatively affect workouts and energy levels, as well as cause the breakdown of muscle and bone, increasing the risk of injury. Did you know that in the 1940s, dietary protein supplements began to be consumed? They gained popularity with the general public because resistance and strength training athletes were seeing improved muscle building results by using these supplements. Most athletes know that getting enough rest after exercise is essential to high-level performance. 
but many still overtrain and feel guilty when they take a day off. Rest days are critical to sports performance for a variety of reasons. Some are physiological and some are psychological. Rest is physically necessary so that the muscles can repair, rebuild, and strengthen. For recreational athletes, including in rest days can help maintain a better balance between home, work, and fitness goals. Did you know that your body's response to intense physical activity is very similar to your body's response to actual injury? After bodily injury, certain biomarkers for muscle damage are elevated. These same markers are often elevated after physical activity. Your body experiences both injury and intense physical activity as muscular stress, which is why proper recovery after workouts is absolutely vital and must not be skipped. Recovery allows the body to replenish energy stores and repair damaged tissues. Exercise or any other physical activity causes changes in the body, such as muscle tissue breakdown and the depletion of energy stores, like muscle glycogen, as well as fluid loss. Recovery time allows these stores to be replenished and allows tissue repair to occur. Without sufficient time to repair and replenish, the body will continue to break down from intense exercise. Good work! You've completed another lesson in the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. In the next lesson, we'll put what we've learned into practice. See you at the next meeting.